Why me? There are a lot of people in the family. Why me? Why did my ancestors choose me to continue the legacy, their legacy? Why me? I'm not perfect. I do a lot of stuff. I'm not worthy for them to choose me. Why me? Welcome to Ayo Sisters Kingdom. It's me, your king, Naya Sankofa in your area. How are you doing, family? I hope all is well and you are blessed on your journey. Ashe. So, today, we are going to talk, or I'm going to talk, about a topic I've named, Why Me? Because... A good friend here on my platform contacted me and we had a conversation and I felt very sad you know people you don't need to be perfect before the ancestors or before your ancestors can choose you when you come to spirituality we don't deal with heaven and we don't deal with hell or we don't deal with Oh, I'm a sinner, so I'm like this, I'm like that, so I'm not worthy of this calling, and I don't think I'm, I'm good enough for my ancestors. There is nothing like that. When people talk with me about such issues, it saddens me. Your ancestors choose you because they know that you are the perfect one to accomplish this mission. You are the perfect one to accomplish and to finish their legacy. For them, you are okay the way that you are. You are perfect the way that you are. You keep on asking yourself why there are a lot of people in the family. Because it is you that they have chosen. There was a meeting. And most of your ancestors point out that it is you who can accomplish this. So what is left is for you to understand that the calling is real and that you can make it. You just have to leave everything behind you and stand tall and make yourself available. Call upon them. Tell them that you are ready. The day that you will accept your calling, being a chosen one, all other doors shall be open upon your life. There is no need for you to ask, keep on asking yourself, like that sister was telling me, I'm not worthy, I'm no one, I don't have this. I, that is not what your ancestors are looking. They know you can accomplish it. That is why that place that you went, they told you that you are the chosen one. You are the person, you are the one to bring peace in the family. You are the one to break generational curses. You are the one to put things in other again. You are the one who is going to stand to get in touch with the divine. To bring healing upon the family. To bring love. To restore things back. To restore the blessings back to the family. To change the name of the family. So you can. I want you to stop Asking yourself and judging yourself that you're not good enough. So you can't. You can. They choose you for a reason. For them, you are the perfect one. All you need to do is just to accept your calling. And the day, I promise you, the day that you will accept your calling. And you will call upon your ancestors and tell them that I am ready now. I cannot do it on my own. I need help. I need assistance because I don't know anything. I don't even know where to start. They will help you. All those things that you call sin or you call mistakes, they will help you to put things in other. No one is perfect in this world. Whilst they live, they as our ancestors, whilst they lived on this planet, they were also not perfect. And that is not how they judge us. They love us. And they love you, no matter what. Even in your mistakes, that you feel bad, you know. Some of us still, or some people out there still have all this um, brainwash 
things from um, uh, from their Christian past and all that, you know. So when they come to ancestor, ancestor honor their ancestors, they think it's the same that their ancestors will be judging them. That oh maybe they are not good, maybe they are not that. We all, even me sitting here talking to you, I have my mistakes too. But I don't stand on that one. You need to keep on being positive. We fall, we rise. So you are worthy to be the chosen one. You are worthy to be the one that your ancestors need to bring changes in the family. So please, those that I've been talking to in the last days, I've been talking to the last days about that sometimes you feel that you are not worthy because you are no one and nobody cares about you and you don't have this and you don't have that. No, the calling is more than that. It's not one person who just sat there or it's not one person who made a decision for somebody be, to be a chosen one. There was a meeting. Your ancestors, they are not, it's not only one person. It's thousands of people, thousands of spirits. And the elders, they will sit down and, and they will get together and they will look in that family and when they point that it is you, it is you and you can. The only way you can is when you decide that the life in the matrix, you are not the matrix, you are so crazy about this world than to fulfill your calling. That is the only two things. But once you choose that you are ready, you want to stand. You want to bring changes in your bloodline, in your family. They will help you. All you need to do, when things are hard sometimes, just cry out. Be open enough to cry out to tell them that I need help. Where I am now, I can't. When you don't help me, when my ancestors, when you don't help me, I'm falling. And they will help you to rise. Because there are a lot backing you. They believe in you. They know that you can. You can. And they are proud of you. For you to continue their legacy. What they didn't finish. What they, didn't, they couldn't accomplish. For you to bring it to a perfect end. And after that. You will meet them one day. And they will tell you how proud they are. But even as you are here, they will let you feel it. I know how many times I used to get message from people that I have to tell them how proud their ancestors are. They are so proud of some people out there, the job, what you are doing. For the family, for people out there. For yourself. The self-love. The self-love that you are giving yourself is even healing your ancestors on the other side. Because some of them left in pains. Some of them left, they were not even talking with some of the family members. Some of them were hurt. So the more you heal yourself, so you heal them on the other side. So we have a lot of work to do. So my people, I'm going to stop here. Stop asking yourself, why you? Because you can. Because you are the game changer. Because you are the one that has been ordained by your ancestors. You are the curse breaker. From your generation, from now, things need to change. Things that the other families went through, that is past. But from now, your children don't need to suffer. Your children's children don't need to suffer. Don't need to go through that, those curses, those pains, those poverty. Because you are here to bring the changes, to break those curses. So don't ask yourself why. When you ask me why, because they know you can. That's why they choose you. So I'll stop here by saying, much love for me, Naya Sankofa, in your area. Take good care of yourself. And never give up on this journey. We fall, we rise. Ashe.